came over Not touch me. Gave the video shows multiple New York City police officers arresting unarmed Eric Garner. Officer Daniel Pantaleo with his arm around his neck. Garner would later die from what the medical examiner says was a chokehold. A grand jury didn't indict, and now the New York City Police Department is investigating internally. The big question, will Pantaleo keep his job? There are a lot of cases. New York right City civil rights explosion. attorney Randolph uh, McLaughlin has been trying cases for 35 years and says that while historically the law favors officers, Pantaleo should at the very least lose his job. We shouldn't be paying for that man to, to engage in this kind of conduct, especially an individual who feels he did nothing wrong. So that tells me, well, I think I did the right thing and I'll do it again. Pantaleo's attorney disagrees, saying in a statement in part, he indicated he never used a chokehold. He used a takedown technique he was taught in the academy. He said he never exerted any pressure on the windpipe and never intended to injure Mr. Garner. What's your location? Give me your location, okay? In other high-profile cases, officers have managed to get by with little or no repercussions. Take the Amadou Diallo case in 1999. Four police officers shot an unarmed black man 41 times, hitting him 19 times. He wouldn't survive. The officers were acquitted of all criminal charges. Three officers opted to leave the force. The fourth returned to the NYPD but worked without a gun for more than a decade. Then there's the 2006 Sean Bell case. Bell and two friends were shot by plainclothes detectives outside a Queens nightclub during Bell's bachelor party. Officers fired 50 rounds in a few seconds, killing Bell and wounding his friends. From this day forth, you shall have justice. One officer was fired. Three others were forced to resign with pension. The city in those cases rightfully is saying to itself, we don't need these kind of officers in, in, our, in our service. In Pantaleo's case, he wasn't even indicted, leaving the question whether he'll face any punishment at all. Now, NYPD internal affairs investigators questioned Pantaleo for about two hours this week. The investigation could take three to four months, and at the end of the day, the police commissioner will decide his fate. Now, we should also add that a federal investigation is also pending.